Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number 18 from exercise 4C from the Pure Mathematics P3 textbook from Pearson's at Excel, this is the International A Level textbook. This is um, from chapter 4, Trig Addition Formulae. And this question here, um, again, requested by one of my students. So I'm guessing he's asking about 18 part B, but I will also go through 18 part A. It says, use the identity cosine A plus B equal cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B to show that cosine 2A equals 2 cosine squared A minus 1. Now that's, that's an identity that we should know, and it's not, f it's not quoted to us in the formula book. However, the formula that they give us here, this identity cosine A plus B equals cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B is quoted in the formula book. And if you do forget this identity or any of the double angle identities for cosine, you can use this formula from the formula book in order to derive it. This is what they want us to do. So I'll start with part A. So basically what we can do, if I want to find what cosine 2A is, using this identity, I can say that cosine 2A can be thought of as the cosine of A plus A. Cosine 2A is like cosine A plus A. So if I use this identity, I can replace the B with A. So I can say B is equal to A in the identity. So now I can use the identity and I can say, therefore, cosine A plus A is therefore going to be equal to cosine A times cosine A, cosine A times cosine A, minus sine A times sine A. Sine A times sine A because the, the B has now been replaced with an a all right so you end up with this which gives you cosine squared a minus sine squared a now we haven't quite got there because we have to show that this is equal to 2 cosine squared a minus 1 so this is now cosine 2a equals this so we can say that cosine 2a equals now if i want to express it in this form then i'm going to try to replace the sine squared a in terms of cosine squared a and we know the most basic identity that we learned last year sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of the same angle equals one so i can replace the sine squared a with cosine one minus cosine um with one minus cosine squared a so the sine squared a is the same as one minus the cosine squared of a so i can say that this is cosine squared a minus one minus cosine squared a Okay, so that way I'll have my identity with only cosines, no signs in it. And so this is going to be cosine squared A minus 1, minus and minus is plus, plus cosine squared A, which gives you 2 cosine squared A minus 1, which is what we had to show. And there's the answer to part A. Okay, simple little use of this double angle formula. And just replace the B with an A, and you're left with your identity after you've replaced the sine squared a with 1 minus cosine squared a. If the question said show that cosine 2a equals 1 minus 2 sine squared a, we would then have at this stage replaced the cosine squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, and we would have got 1 minus 2 sine squared a. But it didn't ask that. It asked us to make it in terms of cosine, so there's our answer. Now, part b, it says the curves c1 and c2 have equations y equals 4 cosine 2x and y equals 6 cosine squared x minus 3 sine 2x. To show that the x coordinates of the points where c1 and c2 intersect satisfy the equation cosine 2x plus 3 sine 2x minus 3 equals 0. So first of all, part b, we have curve 1. It has equation y is equal to um, 4 cosine 2x, 4 cosine 2x, and curve 2 has equation um, 6 cosine squared x minus 3 sine 2x. So y equals 6 cosine squared x minus 3 sine, 3 sine 2x. And it's saying show that they intersect, the x coordinates of the points where these two intersect is satisfy this equation. So where they intersect is found by solving these two equations simultaneously. So if I take the y here and replace it by 6 cosine squared x minus 3 sine 2x, substitute one of the equations into the other, all right, then I will find the places where they intersect. Okay, so if I substitute instead of y, 6 cosine squared x minus 3 sine 2x, and 
I make that 4 cosine 2x because I've replaced this y with, with this. This is taking the place of that y. Now the solution to this equation here will be where they intersect. So I have to show it becomes I have to show it becomes this. So what we notice about this compared to what we have, these are all comprised of double angles. And these have got some single angles in them. Well, this one is a single angle. So if I can change this into a double angle, then I'll have all double angles and hopefully my expression will simplify to, to this. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to use this formula that I've derived earlier. Okay, to change cosine squared x into something involving cosine 2x. So if I take this formula and I make cosine squared a the subject, well, I, have, I start off with cosine 2a equals 2 cosine squared a minus 1. So if I want to make cosine squared a the subject, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So cosine 2a, sorry, cosine 2a plus 1. And I'll divide both sides by 2 over 2 equals cosine squared a. Let me write that a bit neater because it's a bit messy there. So basically rearranging it to make cosine squared a the formula, the subject of the formula, I'll have 1 plus cosine of 2a over 2 is equal to cosine squared of a. All right, so add 1 and divide by 2. So I can replace cosine squared x with 1 plus cosine um, 2x over 2. So I'll have 6 and this would be 1 plus cosine 2x divided by 2 minus 3 sine 2x equals 4 cosine 2x. So hopefully when I simplify this, it will give you, it will give us what we want. So now the 6 and the 2, they cancel out to give you 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times cosine 2x is 3 cosine 2x minus 3 sine 2x equals 4 cosine 2x. Now, how do we want to state it? They want us to express this in what form? Cosine 2x. Okay, so we want the cosine 2x to be positive. So, yeah, so basically if I keep this side as 0, I can subtract 3 cosine 2x from both sides, which gives you cosine 2x, which is what we're looking for. We're going to add 3 sine 2x to both sides, so I'll have plus 3 sine 2x, and then I have to subtract 3 from both sides, I have minus 3. So that is the equation that we asked to show. 3 to cosine 2x plus 3 sine 2x minus 3. Cosine 2x plus 3 sine 2x minus 3. So we've done exactly what we have to show. I'll just write it, everything on this side. Cosine 2x plus 3 sine 2x minus 3 equals 0. And that's as far as they ask us to do. They don't tell us to, to solve it. Just show that this, is the, this equation represents the solution of where these two intersect. Okay, so there's the answer to part B. All right, so it's using the double angle formula basically to rewrite this expression in terms of all double angles. So this must become a double angle. So use the double angle formula to change it in terms of a double angle and then simplify that and we got our answer. So there's the answer to number 18 from exercise 4C. Other questions from this particular chapter? can be found um, from this book, the, the, from the textbook, can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. As I'm asked questions, I will answer them, and I will gather together the questions that I have answered in this playlist over here. Other questions from Trig of, of uh, P3 can generally be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Don't forget to look at the description to see my material from the other units of um, at Excel A-level maths, as well as this international A-level maths, as well as my IGCSE Cambridge material. You'll see links for that in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon.